Hi, I'm Dr. Tony Winderbank, and today I'm with my colleague, Dr. Nathan Staff, and we're going to talk a little bit about some of our uh, mesenchymal stem cell trials for amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. Uh, we're currently actively enrolling in the trial that's sponsored by Brainstorm using the neuron cells. And there are six centers for this, um, three on the West Coast, two on the East Coast, uh, and we're really focusing on patients who are in the Midwest area. So, Nathan, can you tell us a little bit about the trial? Sure. So this is a, a large clinical trial, obviously, with six centers, and uh, they're enrolling hundreds of patients for the trial. It's a phase three study, which means it's kind of the ultimate uh, clinical trial to try to test whether a... Uh, drug, or in this case, stem cell product, is uh, beneficial for patients with ALS. In order to do that, uh, the study is designed to have a placebo arm to it. So uh, essentially, 50% of patients will receive the stem cell product, which is three injections every two months, and then 50% of the patients will receive a ple placebo during that time, meaning no active treatment. Um, the, as with any clinical trial, uh, there are very strict inclusion and exclusion criteria. So for this trial, uh, it's set up that patients need to be between the ages of eight, 18 and 60. Uh, they need to have had symptoms of ALS, uh, specifically weakness, for less than 24 months. And then also to have uh, enough lung function. So we measure that uh, via mm -hmm. the uh, vital capacity, and that needs to be greater than 65%. Additionally, there are things that people can't be on in order to be in the study. So, uh, as we mentioned in the last video, radicava is not allowed uh, during the study. Uh, if, if somebody is on radicava and wish to be in the study, they can come off radicava uh, for 30 days and then be enrolled in the study. Uh, additionally, uh, neither non-invasive ventilation uh, nor uh, feeding tubes are allowed for patients in the study. So it's a pretty uh, select group of patients that are going to be able to be in the, in the study. So we're very early in the enrollment uh, for Brainstorm. And so if you're interested in, in being considered for pre-screening in this trial, please email us at the rstalsresearch at mayo.edu email. Thanks very much, Nathan. <clears throat> that was very straightforward and, and clear. Can I ask you a couple of questions in follow-up sure. to it? So uh, you mentioned about... Uh, randomization. So the patients that won't get assigned to the active treatment, will, will they have a bone marrow sample taken and cells prepared? Yes, they will have a bone marrow sample uh, during the, the study. That's part of the uh, randomization and placebo process to try to make sure that any effects of the placebo aren't uh, carried forward in the trial. So the patients really go through everything in the same way that the that are receiving placebo versus those who are receiving uh, the stem cells other than actually receiving the stem cells. They will also go undergo the lumbar punctures that are required for the study. Yeah, and this is really important to find out whether the treatment really works or not, isn't it? I think the other point that you mentioned that people may ask about is radicava because that's a new product that just came into use last year and uh, we're excluding patients who are on that because it's rather complicated treatment is that yes, right yeah it's definitely the case and it would also be uh, somewhat confusing or might confuse the result if someone was on two different types of of treatment for the ALS so okay. Um, the FDA has really worked very closely with us and with all the investigators that are involved in this in making sure that this trial will have a, a good result, that we know the product either works or it doesn't work. So thank you very much yeah. and uh, we'll have another update in a couple of months' time. Thank Thanks. You.